Hey guys, it's Aislinn and in today's video, we're gonna be dyeing my hair pastel rainbow with Care Bear hair color. So I was scrolling on Instagram and I saw these pop up and it is a limited edition Care Bear hair color. It's by the brand Insert Name Here. I've never heard of this company or brand before. I don't know what they specialize in, but I saw the Care Bears and I was like, we have got to try this out on my hair. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. They have five colors and I'm gonna be using all five and I'm even gonna mix a couple together to make an orange because they don't have an orange. They just have a pink, a yellow, a blue, a bluish green and a purple shade. So I'm gonna be mixing these so that way I have all the rainbow shades that I need. Look how cute this packaging is. On each box, it tells you what Care Bear the shade is created after. So this one right here is Share Bear. This one is Wish Bear. This one is Love A Lot Bear. This one is Grumpy Bear. And this one is Funshine Bear. And then it tells you a little bit about the bear. I'm not gonna read the little paragraph about each bear on each container because it's just gonna take way too long. But even when you open up the packaging, oh, it's so, so cute. How can you resist this? Look, look how cute. Oh my gosh. Here's what the actual color container looks like. So cute, just Care Bear themed. In the bottom of the box, it has this little pamphlet, insert name here. So the little pamphlet just tells you how to use the color and it also tells you a little bit more about each bear. Let's open up each of these colors so I can see what they look like. I have not opened up the lids or looked at the colors in depth. I literally just purchased them in December and they've been sitting in my beauty room this whole time and I am very, very ready to dye my hair. I'm sick of the blonde. I'm sick of the boring shades. This color is just not it. I'm over it. I'm ready for some cute pastels, some neon shades. I'm ready for some change. Oh my God, it smells so good. Oh, I wanna eat this. <laughs> Help me, I wanna eat it. Let me just run through the colors with you. This is the pink color. It's the Love A Lot Bear. This one is the Fun Shine Bear. This is the Wish Bear. This is supposed to be the greenish aqua color. It's very blue though. This is the Grumpy Bear and this is a pretty deep blue shade. So I'm probably gonna dilute this one. And the last shade we have is the Share Bear. This is the purple color. I might dilute this one also. I have my bowls here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start mixing shades together. I'm not gonna dilute the pink. I'm gonna leave it as is. The yellow, I'm gonna dilute with conditioner. Then I'm gonna mix some pink and some yellow together to make a nice pastel orange shade. For the green aqua color, I'm gonna add some yellow to it so that way it's actually a green shade and not just like a light blue. The blue, I'm gonna dilute with conditioner and the purple, I'm gonna dilute with conditioner. So let me mix all these colors up and I'll be right back to show you. Okay, so here are the colors that I've come up with. I do wish this pink was a little bit brighter. It's kind of a muted pink and I'm gonna be using this shade the most in my hair today. So I wish it had a little bit more punch to it. It's kind of like a smoked out pink color. So let me tell you the game plan of how we're gonna be dyeing my hair. I'm gonna create a horseshoe section on top of my head, just like this. So this whole entire top area, I'm gonna be doing ombre and prismatic. It's kind of like a combination of the two. It's gonna be ombre, but the pattern repeats twice. So it kind of looks more like a prismatic shade. The technique is not going to be prismatic. The technique will be ombre, but when it's done, it's gonna look more prismatic because the ombre pattern is going to multiply. And then all of this under here, I would love to do a pink shade, just a beautiful, nice, pink color. So let me section off my hair and get everything squared away and then we'll start applying the color. I cannot wait to have bright hair and I'm just very excited and it's gonna be so cute and Care Bear hair. Come on, Care Bear hair, adorable. Okay, everything is sectioned off. I'm gonna start by applying the pink color to all of this under here just to get it out of the way. So let's go ahead and apply the pink shade. I don't know what my deal is with pink lately, but God damn, I'm obsessed. <laughs> like I always want pink in my hair. <laughs> when I think of Care Bears, I think of a very nice pastel rainbow, like fun, you know, colors. So I wanted to do hair that was kind of inspired by that. And I knew these shades weren't neon. I knew they were kind of pastel to begin with. So I thought pastel rainbow would be perfect, but I didn't want to do my whole head rainbow i wanted some dimension so i wanted to dye this underneath part of my head a different color and then i had to decide which color i wanted to do it was between pink blue or purple 
I had to think about it for like a week and try and decide what color I wanted on the bottom. I would have loved to do blue, but it's just so hard to get out of the hair. So I decided to stick with pink. I thought it would look the best with the pastel rainbow on top. And again, I'm just like craving pink lately. I don't know what my <laughs> problem is. This dye is pretty thick. It's not the easiest to work with because it does have a much thicker consistency. I normally get my gloves from Dollar Tree, but they stopped carrying the vinyl gloves I get. So I had to order some online and I ordered these off Amazon. I wanted black ones, but they suck. They're like really thick and chunky. And so it makes it harder to do everything because they're not form fitting. They're just like very clunky and thick. They're not breathable. I used to have some pink Frimar gloves and I loved those ones so much. And I went to go buy some more, but they're not on their website, so I don't know. But in the future, I'm definitely going to get Framar gloves. <laughs> and I'm being really lazy and not putting a mirror behind my head. Just gonna feel my way around for this underneath part. And then for the top, I'm obviously gonna have to get a mirror to put back there to do the rainbow. I love doing those videos where I try to dye my hair with random things, but a lot of them haven't been working or it's been like affecting my hair. So like when I did the Sharpies and it actually worked, my hair smelled so bad. Like Sharpies, every time it got wet, anytime I got a whiff of my own hair, it just smelled so strong, like a Sharpie. And the night I dyed my hair with that, I was working out and there was Sharpie running down my forehead. There was like neon pink Sharpie bleeding off of my hair onto my face. And I was like, that's embarrassing. I do have a bunch more items that I wanna try dyeing my hair with, but I think I'm gonna hold off and wait until summertime to continue that series. Ooh, it's cute, I'm excited, yay. Let me just slick all of this back. Time for the ombre rainbow. Because this dye is thick, I'm gonna have to take smaller sections, which is gonna take more time. So this is about how big the sections are gonna be. They're very thin. So like I said, I wanna repeat these colors two times. So right here is where the purple needs to end and where I need to start the next round of color. So let's go ahead and start with the pink up top. I wish this pink was more vibrant. It just looks so dull and pastel. I'm just gonna stick this foil under here so that doesn't happen. Makes it easier to apply color too if there's a foil right here. Once I get this first section done, it'll be a little bit easier to do the rest of the sections. I'll use this as my guide. This is gonna be so cute. It's gonna take me absolutely forever to do, but it's gonna be cute, so that's all that matters. Oh my gosh, I'm pretty excited about this. So we've got the colors repeating twice, which is exactly what I was hoping for. I'm gonna go in and just blend these shades together and kind of separate the hair just to make sure everything is coated really well. I don't wanna miss any spots. So I'm just gonna go in through here, blend everything together. Okay, so here's what the first section looks like. Now, looking at this, I'm gonna go ahead and make an executive decision and alter the pink shade. This is all the pink that I have left. It's not a lot, and I know it's definitely not gonna be enough to finish the rest of my hair. I have some splat, and it's kind of a pastel pink, but it has a little bit more punch to it. So I'm going to mix a whole bunch of the splat pink in with this shade. So hopefully it creates a little bit more depth. And then I'll also have a lot more pink and it'll last throughout the color because right now the only shade that's not showing up is the pink. And I really don't wanna take the time and spend hours doing this all over my head for the pink shade to not show up because right now it's not looking like it's gonna show up. This is the Splat Naturals I was talking about. Let me dump some of this into the bowl and show you what the color looks like. I love this pink. This is more of the color I was thinking. You can see the original pink underneath there and then the bright, nice pink on top. So I'm gonna mix these shades together. And since I already have this section applied, I'm just gonna take some of this pink on my finger and just go ahead and apply it over this section. Oh, look how much better that looks with this pink. Yes, this is, this is what I need right here, this pink. These front two pieces, as you can see, still have a bunch of color left in them. It still has a bunch of pink and green and purple in here. So for these front two portions, I'm gonna have to just do one ombre and not repeat the pattern twice. 
all of this blonde right here, I'll be able to do this pattern, but for these front two like e-girl pieces, I'm only gonna be able to do the ombre one time throughout the front strands. I think it'll be fine and it'll like blend in perfectly. You can clearly see all of this bright leftover color. There's no way I'm gonna be able to repeat these patterns over here and it's gonna look okay. These are still way too vibrant and neon. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same ombre colors over the top of this. I think it's gonna look fine. So like I said, I'm just gonna be able to do the ombre pattern one time on these front pieces because of how vibrant that color still is. That Sharpie would not come out of my hair. I washed my hair several times and it just stains the hair so bad. I knew it would look better if I just stuck to doing the ombre pattern once in this front area rather than trying to repeat it twice to match the rest of the hair and then a lot of those areas in those front two pieces would have been really muddy and this way it still blended really well and you could not tell that I only did that pattern one time on those front pieces. So as you can see here, I'm just going through the colors of the rainbow, starting with pink and then doing each color after that. Now, if you wanted this to be more prismatic, when you take down the next section, you could always start with the next color. So on this, I'm doing all the sections starting with pink. But like I said, if you wanted more of that prismatic, the next time you brought down a different section, you would start it with orange, then you would start the next section with yellow and so on. For this, I wanted all of my root area to be the same color, which is why I did every single section starting with pink, so that way it would be one uniform ombre all over this top horseshoe section of my hair. When you're doing ombre or prismatic, it's important to take really small sections and very thin sections, so that way you're easily saturating the hair. With this, you can't really take that section and work the color in because you're doing so many different colors next to each other. So making sure you take really thin sections helps to make sure you're saturating. And once I get done applying the color, I just take my finger and blend all of the colors together. This helps to create that seamless ombre blend. If you don't use your finger and blend those shades together, you're gonna have like lines of demarcation and it's not going to fade together nicely. I had really high hopes going into this and it turned out way different than I thought it would, which you're gonna see in just a minute. Okay, I've got everything applied. It looks so good. I cannot wait to rinse this and see the outcome because it looks so beautiful and I think it's gonna be exactly what I wanted. Like when I see this, it just screams like Lisa Frank, Care Bear, cute pastel rainbow i cannot wait to see what this looks like when it's rinsed so i'm gonna leave it in 30 minutes to an hour the packaging says 30 minutes but if you want a more vibrant and longer lasting color to leave it on one or two hours so i'm gonna leave it on somewhere in that range i'm gonna rinse it using cold water i'm not gonna use hot water i'm not gonna shampoo just rinse it using cold water that will prevent the colors from bleeding and it will also make the colors last longer this looks so so cool i'm very 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 excited about this and look at the cute pink underneath so i'm just gonna let this process and i'll see you guys in around an hour wish me luck all right i'm back here's how my hair turned out it's way way better than it was before i like it i'm not in love with it like i think i'll like it a lot more once it fades a lot it just seems like there's a lot of yellow in it and it kind of already looks a little bit dull. It doesn't look like I just dyed my hair. This looks like I've washed it one or two times. Um, yeah, the pink isn't my favorite color, especially underneath here. It's kind of a toned down smoky pink versus a brighter pink. I definitely love this color more than what I had before I dyed it, but it's just not my favorite and I know I'm gonna love it so much more once it fades a little bit. I just wasn't expecting it to come out like this, but it's better than it was before, so I'm happy. <laughs> when I rinsed this in the shower, these bled everywhere. Every single color was bleeding all over the place. Overall, the color was pretty patchy I didn't really enjoy working with it that much and overall I wouldn't recommend the Care Bear hair color. I would just rather purchase a different kind of color. Maybe if you're dyeing your hair like all over a blue shade or all over a pink shade then get them just because it's cute. But for me I had to purchase all these different shades and it just wasn't worth the money in my opinion when I could have bought something better. I'm glad I dyed my hair. It's definitely better than before but I'm also excited for this to fade already. Let me turn around and show you what the back looks like.
That is all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to check out my Instagram. The link to that is in the description down below. I post way more of my everyday life on there. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I love you guys so much. And until next time, guys, stay weird. Goodbye. I mean